paracord. So we're gonna get this. All right, turnbuckles. This is the size turnbuckle we need right here. All right, we're gonna need a and three. This is the size we need. I'm up in the tree right now, right on a ladder, so bear with me here, all right? I don't want to fall. Aloha, my Hawaiian peacock, Ohana. This is your boy, Brother Mel, AKA the Hawaiian peacock, here with another video for you. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome, aloha. Be a part of the Hawaiian peacock, Ohana. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Next to that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because that's gonna notify you when I put out a new video. That's all it does. I've been pumping out two videos a week, guys. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. It. Oh, sorry, that's another video. I'm sure you've seen in the thumbnail, somebody's acting shady. We gotta get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. What is this, you ask? This is what I got. 16 and a half feet by 16 and a half feet triangle shape, sunshade sail. We're gonna head over to Home Depot and I'll see you guys in a second. Boom, we took a little side route. We are here at Ace Hardware. We're gonna give them some love. Let's go. Oh, here we go. We're gonna need a pack of large screw eyes right here. This is gonna go into our fence. One, two, and three. This is the size turnbuckle we need right here. Five bucks, here we go, perfect. Turnbuckle, paracord, paracord. You buy your cord make sure it's a good cord all right because uh that cheap stuff will just break so we're gonna get this as you can see on this tag here it holds up to 110 pounds right there see that so that's gonna be really good on those windy days it'll help out so make sure you get some good paracord all right guys we got everything now let's get home Shh. boom we're home check out the pieces that we got all right guys, so this here I had in the garage, three quarter inch, hook and eyes. Um, just, I could probably get away with this, but not for very long. I wanted something a little bit bigger that's gonna anchor. That's why I got this four pack, and it could hold a max weight of 70 pounds. So this is gonna be a lot more durable. Um, it's gonna be outside, the elements, all that good stuff. We have our turnbuckle. We have three carabine clips. We have our U-clamp. And then we have our paracord, okay? Uh, the para or the, the the shade sail did come with some paracord. This stuff is really cheap. It won't last very long out in the weather. So that's why we purchased this was nine bucks. This was probably the most expensive part out of all these items here. But like I said, you want some good paracord. So let's get to the build. It ain't gonna be that hard. Let's go. So as you can see, I have my measuring tape going all the way down there, measuring at 16 and a half. Feet, okay, um, I did mark it here with a hole. So basically all we're gonna do is manually screw it in. So we got our hole made and we're just gonna screw this thing in by hand. It'll just dig right into this wood fence here, this two by four. As you can see, it anchors right in. You may need a wrench to get a really good torque on this thing because it's, it's getting hard. All right guys, so basically I got a screwdriver here and we're just gonna use this as leverage to torque it and screw it in as deep as we can. And this will hold one part of the triangle of the sail shade down. That's good enough, all the way down. Let's go get the other one. Mm, nice and tight, that'll work. First thing I did was get some of the paracord, cut it. We tied it around about three times and um, just burned off the end, all right? Because it's uh, you don't want it to frail. And we just used your barbecue lighter anyways to uh, burn it up, but I'm gonna use this as my pointer too as well. So carabine clip right here, and we just kind of tied it really tight. Uh, just a simple knot, uh, a box knot, nothing uh, you know too crazy. And that's the first step. This next thing we're gonna do is get our carabine clip. Clip one here, and then we're gonna clip one down at the other end there. So we attach the carabine clips to the clips that comes on the uh, sunshade sail. And as you can see, it's a triangle over the pond. Here, we're gonna actually pull this cord here and it's gonna tighten it and raise it up higher, okay? So here is 
the u-clamp that we have it's going to go way up there though okay so i'm just going to swing that up there i wanted to show you guys how i put this contraption together so we got the carabine clip attached to the rope tied to the tree the turnbuckle here and then we loop it through the string and then we attach our u clamp and then i'm going to pull the string and you'll see it see that the tighter i pull it the higher it goes up so i'm going to adjust this u clamp and then i'm going to tighten the bolts underneath it and it's going to clamp the cord together and we're gonna make this nice and tight hey guys so i'm up in the tree right now right on a ladder so bear with me here all right i don't want to fall um, i'm too old to fall all right so here's our u-clamp right here right before i really tighten these bolts up i just actually uh tightened them with my finger okay so it's actually holding the rope but i can actually pull on this string this rope here and really tighten it up and you can see it raise the actual shade cell in the back there just so you guys know okay so i'm going to pull this really tight and then i'm going to tighten these bolts with uh, a socket wrench that i have in my pocket right now so uh, I just wanted to give you guys an actual like bird's eye view, no pun intended in the tree, of how this is actually going to work. All right guys, bird's eye view again. This is really tight. It is clamped down. It isn't going anywhere. I can probably play the guitar off of this thing. It's so tight. And then you can see our shade cell in the background. This XX, XS string here, I got, I'm going to cut it down and then uh, Probably, I want a little bit, you know, just in case. So maybe about here, and then I'll cut it and burn it, and then probably just wrap it around here so it's clean. Now we go to the turnbuckle, and this turnbuckle here, we're basically gonna turn this bolt to tighten it up even more. As you can see, we got threads to play with to adjust on both, um, you know, bolts here, and it's gonna pull this cord even tighter. Now let's take a ground level view. All right, so as you can see, guys, this is done. So check out the shade. The fish are gonna love it. Actually, you know what? They are loving it. So a little partial sun, but for the most part, when that sun comes in at the hottest point of the day, it's definitely gonna be covered. Keep this pond nice and chill in the summertime for the fish. And here you go, eye view. This is eye level. So this is right up at my eyes. So I'm six feet tall. So this is right at my eyes here. And you can see where it actually ends, right at this point here. And like I said, this shade sail is 16 and a half feet by 16 and a half feet, all the way down the ends, triangle. And then as you can see our cord here, and it's up in the tree there. And then you can actually see our setup right and i cut the strings and that's it and now you understand why i used the black string <laughs> so it's not standing out it's not um a sight for sore eyes this did not take very long to put together either you know if you have everything that you need gosh i'm gonna say maybe 30 minutes at the most i mean including the shade the, the sail shade um, this was like less than 35 bucks to build um, You know granted now. I did have the fence to attach it to I had a tree to attach it to Maybe this may give you an idea if you wanted to do something like this over your pond or hell just maybe over the patio um, You know, it's it's really not that hard to put up And these things are pretty inexpensive as you can see from a different angle you know, if you don't have something to mount it to, like a fence or a tree, you would have to get post, obviously. You can just, you know, do maybe a four by four post in the ground at three points or four points. This is the shape of a triangle. They have different ones. They have ones that are shaped as squares, uh, but this one is a triangle. I didn't really need a square. Probably help when fall hits and these leaves start to fall down from the trees. So that'll help with covering up. Plus I also have that other pond cover that I made. So that'll cover that too as well. So when it comes to uh, fall, we should be okay. 
So uh, I'm kind of uh, anxious to see a windy day, how this thing holds out. But if it gets too windy, that's why I actually put these carabine clips here. I just unclip it, unclip it, unclip that other side down there, unclip it there, and um, you know, put it away for the winter. Real easy, real easy to set up, guys. Here's an underneath shot of what it looks like from the bottom looking up. This was a, a fun, easy build too, guys. Really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Please don't forget to uh, like, comment, and share this video, you know? Spread the aloha spirit. Happy fish in this pond. Happy life. Much love and aloha. Every, every day, all the water she